Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to send data via webhooks with make.com, formerly known as Integromat. First, you'll need to add an HTTP module in make.com. This module allows you to send data in a webhook format. If you wanted to receive a webhook, then you would use the module called webhook. So create a new module and search for HTTP to find the right integration. To fill in the URL and configure the rest of the module, you'll need to consult the documentation for the app that you're trying to send data to. Their documentation or support guides will show you the appropriate URL and the way the data needs to be configured. For example, we're gonna send data into an Airtable webhook in order to trigger an Airtable automation. If we Google Airtable webhooks, we can easily find some relevant support docs. You could also search for Airtable API or Airtable docs to find what you need. Refer to your app's documentation to find the target URL you need to send the request to. With Airtable, the docs indicate we need to open up a table, create an automation, and select when webhook received as the trigger. Then, we can see the URL we need in this panel to the right. We'll copy it and paste it in our HTTP module in Make. In most cases, you'll need to choose post to send data. If you're curious about what these other options are for, we'll give you a quick rundown. Post creates new data. Get finds existing data. Put and patch are used to update data. And delete is used to delete data. You can check the docs to confirm which method to use, but if your goal is to create new data, you'll probably want to use post. In most cases, you'll need to add a header to authenticate your request. But in this case, authentication is already handled by connecting Airtable to make. Adding a query string would let us filter results, but we won't need one in this example. Check your app's documentation to find out how the body and content of your webhook need to be formatted. Airtable docs specify that we need to format the content as a JSON object, so we'll choose raw as the body type and JSON as the content type. Now you need to fill out the request content field with the data you want to send. For our Airtable example, we need to use JSON formatting for the data to be parsed correctly. To make things easy, we'll just copy and paste the example from the Airtable docs to use as a starting point. Click OK, and then run your module once. You should see that this module was successful. However, all that means is that sending the request was successful. You'll need to check the app you're sending data to in order to confirm that everything worked. As you see, Airtable received our request. Now you can build an automation in Airtable with the data sent through Make. Now you should be ready to start sending webhooks with make.com. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you'd like to learn more about no code and low code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. And you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check out all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.